Hello, everyone. Uh, we come into this game playing a lot better. I like uh, the effort lately. We've won a few games. Um, we have another game here against the Rangers today. And uh, as you know, we beat the Rangers yesterday. So hoping that, that that carries over. We do it again and do it again. And then just get on a roll and keep going from there. And then good things will happen, and uh, eventually we will be at the top of the division. Let's hope that that's exactly how it goes. Um, as I say, lately the pitching has been better than it was uh, earlier in the season, and the hitting has started to come around. So if all of that starts to gel, um, we should be fine. Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Now, since our last telecast, the team has gone four and two. So we're on a bit of a, well... A good streak. I mean, we're not like we haven't won six in a row. That would have been nicer than four and two. But we we have uh, played better over the last six games uh, than we um, had over the uh, the previous few. So that's good news. The team is hitting, and we are pitching better as well. Today we play the Rangers, and yesterday we beat the Rangers 8-3, and Carlos Rodon got the win in yesterday's game. But let me uh, move this up, and we will go over the lineups for today's game. Uh, the uh, Rangers will have Lance Lynn going on the mound, and the lineup that the uh, Rangers will send up is uh, Kiner Falefa, at third base, Santana in center field, Joey Gallo, the power hitting right fielder, Ruffned or Odor at second base, Sin Shu Chu in left field, Ronald Guzman at first, Willie Calhoun will be the DH today, uh, Anderson Tejada at shortstop, and Jeff Mathis the great defensive catcher that uh, lacks a little bit when it comes to uh, hitting. And this will be Bob Zolke's lineup today with Dane Dunning on the mound for the White Sox. Madrigal will lead off and play second base. Moncada will play third and bat second. Jose Abreu at first base. Eloy Jimenez in left. Um, Encarnacion is the DH today. Luis Robert, our great center fielder, is going to be in center. He has Monty Grandall at catcher. Uh, Tim Anderson at short. And Nomar Mazzara will be pl patrolling right field for us. And that is the starting lineup for the White Sox. So let's go down to the field where they will do the um, national Anthem, and then we will get underway. Thank <laughs> you. 
And so we're ready to go. As you can see, Dane Dunning has finished his warm-up tosses. And he comes into the game 1-2 and two with a 527 earned run average on the year, allowing 13 hits in 14 innings and having struck out 8. And he's facing Isaiah kiner for the leadoff. And kiner Falefa hits the ball to Madrigal, and Madrigal's up with it and makes the play. That brings up Danny Santana. And Danny Santana is going to hit the ball over to Abreu's side. And Abreu makes the play, flips it to Dunning, and that's two down, and Gallo is up. And Gallo hits it right back up the box for a single. So the Rangers have Gallo aboard with Ruffnett Odor at the plate. And Dunning strikes him out. So that's going to be it for the uh, Rangers. And we're coming up to bat to face Lance Lynn. And Madrigal gets a hold of one right down the line, right past Chu. So Chu chases it down into the corner, and Madrigal has himself a double with Yoan Moncada up. And he's going to hit it out to Chu. So that should be an out, and it is one away. And Abreu up at the plate. And Abreu is going to take a walk. So Lynn has two runners on here with only one out. He's in a little bit of a jam with Jimenez at the plate. And Jimenez walks. He loses Jimenez. So we've got Encarnacion at the plate with the bases juiced and only one out. And incredibly, Lance Lynn walks him too. This is an uncharacteristic uh, loss of control for the uh, usually very in control Lance Lynn. And now Lewis Robert is up at the plate. And he gets Lewis Robert to whiff at the third strike. So there's two down with the bases loaded and Grandall at the plate. And Grandall hits it out to short. And that's Falefa. And he got him. So the White Sox only come away with one run when they had a real threat going there. So Chu steps in, and Chu is going to hit it out to Robert. And he should play it, and he does. One down. And up steps Ronald Guzman. And Ronald Guzman hits it out to Anderson, and Anderson's up with it and makes the play. And that is two down, and Calhoun at the plate. And he hits it sharply to first base on a line out. And so the White Sox are out of the inning, and up they will come to face Lynn again with a one nothing lead. And Timmy A up the plate. And he strikes out. That brings up Mazzara. Mazzara swings away, and he is out on strikes. So that's two down very quickly for the White Sox and Madrigal up. And Madrigal hits a single, and he is two for two on the day. That brings up Johan Moncada. And he hits a fly ball out to Chu in left. That will do it. The White Sox go down pretty quickly there and harmlessly. And we go to the top of the third with the score one nothing Sox. Tejada up. As the Hawk, as Hawk Harrelson would say, one nothing good guys. And Anderson makes that play. There's one down. Mathis, the uh, light hitting Mathis up. And he gets Mathis to swing the third strike. And so there is two down and... Kinder Falefa is up at the plate, and he hits a fly ball out to Mazzara. Mazzara's under it, tapping the glove, and that's the last out of that inning. We go to the bottom of the third, one nothing White Sox. They're um, going to send up Jose Abreu to start up things off against Lance Lynn, 
But Lance Lynn gets him to whiff on a blown away fastball. Eloy Jimenez is up. He'll swing away. And that's a strikeout. So there's there's two down and Encarnacion up the plate, swinging away. And he hits a fly ball out to the sure-handed uh, Gallo in right. And that will be the end of the inning. We go to the top of the fourth. one nothing White Sox. Dunning coming out. And he pitches to Santana and he gets a fly ball to Mazzara. So there's one down quickly. And that brings up Joey Gallo. And Joey Gallo goes fishing. Fishing expedition for him, and he is out. And that brings up Roughnet Odor. And Roughnet Odor is going to hit a ground ball to Madrigal. He's up and over with it, and that's the end of the inning. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Lewis... Uh, Lewis Robert is up, and he, Lynn, gets him, strikes him out. Grandall is up. Grandall is going to line out to Guzman, so there's two down quickly. Not a very offensive game here with Tim Anderson up at the plate. And Tim Anderson gets a hold of one. It looks like he's going to hit it over Santana's head at least. And he does. Hits it over his head. And that is going to be a stand-up double for Anderson with Mazzara up. But Lynn strikes him out. So we get no runs despite the fact that we did have Anderson get a double in that inning. Chu is up to face Dunning. And he loses Chu, so there's a walk to Chu. He'll go down to first base, and that brings up Ronald Guzman. And Chu takes off and steals second. So Dunning asleep at the wheel there. And Guzman hits a ground ball to Madrigal that should move Chu over to third with only one out in the inning. And that brings up Willie Calhoun. And Willie Calhoun hits a line out to Madrigal, so maybe they can get out of this without allowing the run. Tejada is up. And he goes fishing as well, and he strikes out. So he does get out of that mess with a guy 90 feet away and only one out at one point. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the White Sox still leading 1-0. This would be a big win for the White Sox. Madrigal strikes out, though, and that's his first the first time he hasn't reached base today. Moncada's up, swinging away. And he's going to line out, kind of, to Odor. Kind of a soft, arcing line out. And Jose Abreu is up. And Abreu is going to fly out to Gallo, and we are out of the inning. We go to the top of the sixth. White Sox still maintaining a slim 1-0 lead in Mathis at the plate. And they're going to pinch hit for him, and they're bringing Dietrich out to pinch hit for Mathis. But Dunning strikes him out. And that brings up Kiner Falefa. And he loses Kiner Falefa on six pitches, so Kiner Falefa goes down to first. Um, let's see here. That brings up Danny Santana. And they throw down. Kiner Falefa was off and stealing. They throw down, but they don't get him. Oh, and he's going to take off and steal third, and he does, and he comes home. No, he doesn't. He doesn't come home. He's thought about it, but he didn't. There's one down with Danny Santana up. 
And that's going to be a line out to second base. So the, the uh, Rangers might be blowing a great chance here. And it looks like they are going to as Gallo hits a fly ball out to Jimenez. So the White Sox are still clinging to that slim one nothing lead. And up steps Eloy Jimenez. And he hits the ball back at Lynn. And Lynn, yeah, glances off of Lynn's glove for an error. So they have Jimenez aboard with Encarnacion up. And Encarnacion's going to hit it at Odor. They should turn a double play on that, and they do. And then Lewis Roberts up. And Lewis Robert rips a single. He's aboard with Grandall up at the plate. But Grandall strikes out. So we go to the top of the seventh, and uh, we're going to have some, it looks like we have some defensive changes for the White Sox. They will put Engel in right field. No, he's in left. Yeah, they're putting Engel in left field for Jimenez. So Zolke trying to get a little defense out there. And he strikes out Odor, and Chu comes up. And Chu is going to line out. And that brings up Ronald Guzman. And Ronald Guzman gets a hold of one. Dunning, oh my God, he, that was not a good pitch. And Guzman has tied the game. And that brings up. Calhoun, and Calhoun is going to hit the ball right between Madrigal and Abreu and down the line for a single. And then Tejada grounds out to Abreu. But Texas does tie the game at one apiece. Lynn's still out there and Anderson up at the plate. And he's going to swing away. And he grounds out to Guzman. That brings up Nomar Mazzara. And Mazzara strikes out. And that brings up Nick Madrigal. And Madrigal is going to ground out to Odor to end the White Sox 7. And that'll bring up Jose Trevino. And Jose Trevino is going to hit a single. Kiner Falefa is up, and he walks. And now Dunning is in a little bit of trouble here. And uh, let's see what they're going to do. Matt Foster is up in the pen for the White Sox. And there's another walk. Gallo up at the plate. And Gallo is going to hit a single. And now all of a sudden Dunning is just falling apart right here. And, the, and here comes Zolke. He's going to make a pitching change, it looks like. He does, he brings in Matt Foster. So that was a quick warm-up session by Foster and he strikes out Odor. But the Rangers now have a 2-1 lead with only one out and then the base is loaded with Chu up. And Chu hits a line out to Madrigal. So now they got two down, they might get out of this with only one allowed, but they're gonna be behind in the game. And they do, he strikes out Guzman. So. Matt Foster comes out and shuts everything down after he hits the mound. But 
the White Sox still need to get a run to get back into this. And uh, Moncada's up. And he is going to be out on a ground out. And we've got Abreu up at the plate. And he loses Abreu. So Abreu is aboard first base with one out and Angle up, who came in defensively for, uh, for Jimenez and hits into a ground ball double play. So it's 2-1, top of the ninth. Foster is still out there. And Willie Calhoun hits it deep. Looks like it's going to be off the wall for a double. And Anderson Tejada's up. And Anderson Tejada hits it deep, but Engel is out there, and he'll make the play. And that brings up Jose Trevino. Trevino hits a ground ball to Madrigal, but he can't make the play. So there's runners at the corners with one away. And Kiner Falefa hits a fly ball out to Engel. That should get the run home. No, it doesn't. He's gunned at the plate. Nice. That was good work. But the White Sox still need to get a run right here in the ninth. Hoffa Lynn, who hasn't given up anything yet. And Encarnacion is up. And he loses Encarnacion. He walks him. And they're gonna looks like they're gonna be uh, sending in a pinch runner for Encarnacion. They do. Dyson is on for Encarnacion. And he can't get a lead. But he's taking off anyway, and he does steal it. So now Dyson is on second with only one away. Or no, no outs. There's no outs yet. And they bring in a new pitcher, and that's going to be Rafael Montero. He pitches, and they lay down a bunt. And he does move the man over to third base. So now let's see if the uh, the uh, Rangers bring the infield in. And they do. And Grandall is up at the plate. And Grandall is going to send everybody home with a, with a smile on their faces. As he hits a two-run home run. And the White Sox do come back to win this game with a two-run homer by Grandall in the ninth. We'll go get the box score for this one. That was a, yeah, that was a little touch and go right there, but that brings the White Sox record to nine and 11 on the year. Foster getting the win, pitching two innings, allowing only a hit and striking two out. So pretty exciting game. And I wanna remind everybody, Stay tuned for manager Bob Zolke's uh, post-game comments. But I'm over and out. Sportsman Z, televising from the White Sox booth. Uh, All right, well, how about that game? That was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, I had to take my heart attack medicine after that one. Um, yeah, we, uh, we pulled that one out. Uh, it looked, um, it looked touch and go there for a little while. First, uh, the way the game started out, I thought we're easily going to win. And then as the game went on and, uh, the Rangers scored late, um, you know, and with Lance Lynn on the mound for them, I don't know, you know, I, I didn't like our chances, um, of coming back, but uh, Grand Dahl did hit that uh, walk-off home run and send us home victorious. So, 
yeah, like I say, we got another game against the Rangers tomorrow, and then uh, let's take it from there. Keep going, and hopefully we can turn this into a nice winning streak and uh, and get to the top of the division. So thanks.